And we are back on a Wellness Wednesday. Our next guest has a new way to celebrate yourself every morning. Right, Amel Robbins is a motivational speaker, podcaster, and the best-selling <laughs> author behind the high five, the, behind the five second rule. The new book is called The High Five Habit, and she's here to tell us what that means. Mel, good morning. Thank good you. Good morning. Number two on Amazon. That's so right. Congrats. Congrats. So let's talk about this high five habit. In short, it's about cheering yourself on in all aspects of your life, yes. right? How, yes. Why is this so important? Well, first of all, the last 18 months, I think, has punched everybody in the face. We all <laughs> have higher anxiety. We feel uh, discouraged. We feel low energy. And so you have to know how to pick yourself back up when something like this happens. You need more positive energy. And this goes deeper than just cheering for yourself. There is so much science behind high-fiving yourself in the mirror that is mind-blowing. Huh. I started doing this because I was overwhelmed by my life. I was overwhelmed during quarantine, and I couldn't think of anything positive to say to myself in the mirror. And one morning, I just all of a sudden high-fived the exhausted, overwhelmed, tired woman I saw staring back at me, and I felt this shift in energy. I did it for a month. I posted one photo online, and more than 100 people posted photos within an hour of themselves and with their kids of all ages, of all sizes, races, religions, doing it around the world. And I thought, well, that's crazy. Maybe I'm not the only one who needs to feel lifted up. So I did a year-long research project. The science is nuts, you guys. Mm. So let's talk about a high five. Okay. Yeah. High five people okay. your entire life. When you yep. high five somebody, what does a high five mean? You're saying, way to go. Yeah, yes. Good job. Yep. Yes. You've never high-fived somebody and said, you're terrible, I hate you, you're a failure. That, right. That is it's true. It's a positive emotion. Right. A positive gesture. All of that programming is in your brain. Ah. It's already there. So the physical cues the mental? Boom. Okay, And I so love that. you can stand in front of the mirror and say, my life is terrible, I'm a failure, I, I'm ashamed of this, that, and the other thing. When you go to high-five your reflection, yeah. the subconscious part of your brain overrides what you're thinking. And it programs with your reflection. I believe in you. I that. see you. I love you. So just, so, and it's not. Yeah, you you, got, you, got to, you don't even have to touch the mirror. A lot of people don't. Okay. Just look at yourself in the mirror for a minute. Okay. Oh because 91% of women hate how they look. 50% wow. of men and women don't even look at themselves in the mirror. Wow. That's sad. Yeah, yeah. that is sad. But when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're actually staring at another human being. And everybody has a habit right now that is to pick apart or ignore the human being they see. Mm -hmm. it's true. I want you to break it. And so you just look at yourself and think, how do I need to show up for that human being? And then just raise your hand and high five your reflection. Honestly, and I feel it. I do. I know what you're talking about. And I will say I was just at a playground in Philadelphia with a bunch of kids and they were doing this like planned recess where every time you lost the game, right? Yeah. Like, so you're out, you get tagged, whatever. You high five the person and the other one tells you, you're awesome. Even though you're out, it's just like an uplifting feeling. Well, you know why? Because every time somebody else gives you a high five, your brain releases dopamine. Mm. And your nervous system gives you a jolt of celebratory energy. This comes from Dr. Daniel Amen, the world's leading expert on the brain. On top of that, there's research about kids. The most motivating force in the world when researchers studied how to push kids through a challenge yeah. is not to tell them they're smart, not to tell them to work harder. It's to give them a high five with no words. Because when you high five a human being, you're saying, I see you, I believe in you, I love you. That's what it's communicating. No, well, I'm, going to, I'm going to fist bump because it's, no, it's the five. same reaction too. Uh, high five. It's incredible. <laughs> the high five habit is out now.